Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A new stem cell treatment has allowed mice who were disabled by multiple sclerosis to walk again. The study, funded by the National Multiple Sclerosis Society and the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine and published in the journal Stem Cell Reports, involved mice who had been disabled by a condition similar to MS who were treated with transplanted human stem cells. Within two weeks, the mice could walk and run. Six months later, they still showed no signs of relapse. The transplanted human stem cells were able to induce the mice's own cells to repair the nerve damage caused by MS. The researchers responsible for this study are continuing to examine the safety and long-term effects of this treatment and hope to eventually move on to clinical trials. Next up, biologists from all over the world are observing the evolution of a tiny stick insect at the genetic level, and what they've discovered so far has been extraordinary. The insect is called Tamima cristinae. It's a small stick insect that looks a lot like the shrub needles it feeds on. This single species exists in two ecotypes that are in the process of evolving into two separate species. And if the prospect of observing speciation as it happens isn't exciting enough for you, the researchers have noticed something else. Insects at different locations are evolving in exactly the same way. By sequencing the genomes of specimens of both types of Cristinae collected from populations found at multiple locations, the researchers have found not only that the two types are continuing to evolve away from each other, so to speak, but that the genetic differences between the two types are the same even among insects taken from separate populations. In other words, natural selection is acting on these insects in a way that is predictable and repeatable. Finally, astronomers at the University of Texas have identified a star that is a long-lost sibling of our Sun. The star is designated HD 162826 and is located about 110 light-years away. It's slightly larger than the Sun, but too faint to be seen with the unaided eye. It is visible with binoculars, however, in the constellation Hercules. After analyzing its chemical composition and its orbit around the center of the Milky Way, the team, which also included astronomers from St. Petersburg State University in Russia and the University of New South Wales in Australia, concluded that HD 162826 was most likely formed from the same molecular cloud as our Sun. Finding and studying the sun's sibling stars will help us not only to understand the origins of our own sun, but could also potentially shed light on why our planet, orbiting our star, has been able to support life, while other similar planets orbiting similar stars apparently have not. The ultimate goal of this project is to find more stars that originated from the same molecular cloud, model their orbits, and trace them backwards through space and time in hopes of pinpointing the time and place where our sun was born. Researchers use human stem cells to reverse MS in mice. Biologists find that a California stick insect is evolving in surprisingly predictable ways, and astronomers discover the first of the sun's siblings. That's the good news.